Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is this four port manifold set from Hillmore, and we're going to be doing a giveaway for our 10,000 subscriber mark. So that should happen somewhere in about 15, 20 days from now, and we're going to be giving away this manifold set, and I want to thank Hillmore for uh, supplying us with this set right here. What we're looking at is this dual readout temp display, two temperature clamps, four port aluminum manifold, illuminating uh, gauges so that it makes it easier to see in the dark. You have your suction line, your vacuum line, your service line, and your red liquid line. All right, so this whole thing's going to end up coming new in the package. It's going to look like this right here. I want to thank everyone for all the questions and comments everybody's been making on the channel and uh, it's a beautiful thing it gets me thinking uh, and it ends up uh, answering a lot of people's questions and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the video now for the contest details go down to the comments section of this contest video not the step-by-step -step instructions video write why you like Hillmore tools also write why you enjoy or appreciate the AC service tech channel write your best advice for someone trying to get into the HVACR field Next, go to hillmore.com. Go to the top right to the locate a distributor icon. Next, you're going to type in your zip code and select your radius. There you're going to find your closest Hillmore distributor. Once you have your Hillmore distributor, you're going to go to acservicetech.com and then you're going to go to the updates list. You're going to enter your name, email, hillmore.com and contest in the subject icon. Then in your message icon, you're going to write zip code and distributor then you're going to write what do you think is the most important thing to know to be successful in the HVACR field then just put down your actual name and your YouTube subscriber name and hit send All right, that will get you entered into the contest over on the right it says this contest is open to any subscriber of the AC Service Tech channel that's located within the contiguous United States the winner must be willing to post a video on their channel of them receiving the Hillmore 4 port aluminum manifold set the winner will be selected on the day of the AC Service Tech Channel's 10,000th subscriber. The winner's name will be posted in the comment section in the description section of the contest video. The Hillmore 4 port aluminum manifold set will be shipped out upon announcement of the winner or within three business days. Alright, so, so that's the contest. Alright, good luck. And uh, we're going to get back to some HVACR teaching. So here we have our Hillmore 4 port aluminum manifold set right here. And we have it attached to the outdoor unit. So if you don't know if this is a heat pump or a condensing unit, uh, then you're going to refer to this unit as the outdoor unit. Uh, you can tell that it's not a heat pump because it does not have a third port either here or here. All right, the third port would be true suction and it would just be a access port with a valve core or a Schrader valve. And once again, that would be pure suction to the compressor inside of this outdoor unit. So since this doesn't have a third port on it, and we can also look from the top uh, where the fan is downwards, we tell it it is a condensing unit, which means that it's AC only. All right, so I just want you to know in AC mode, whether it's a heat pump or whether it's a condenser, you have low pressure, low temperature vapor refrigerant heading in this direction here, and high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant heading this direction, going away from the outdoor unit and towards the EVAP coil. So people refer to this as several different things. This is the low side or the vapor or the suction line. So it could be called any one of those three things in the field. This side right here where you have your red hose attached to, and it's the liquid line. It could be referred to as the high side line, the head, the discharge, or the liquid. So that's four different things it could be referred to depending on who you're working with in the field. And I just want you to know that um, you know, when they are attaching their hoses they're going to call any one of those four items liquid high side head or discharge line all right hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at ac server tech channel